George of Antioch was the first true Amiratus Amiratorum, successor of the great Christodulus. George was a Greek or Syrian Melchite, born in Antioch, whence he moved with his father, Michael, and mother to Tunisia. His parents found employment under the Zirid Sultan, Tamim ibn Muiz. George fell out with Tamim's son and successor, Yahya, and secretly left for Christian Sicily, stealing away in disguise aboard a Palermitan ship then harboured in Mardia, while his Muslim masters prayed. Upon arrival in the Sicilian capital, George went immediately to the palace and found service with the Norman Count, Roger II. Rise an early career. Subjugation of Apulia. Due to his bilingualism and his familiarity with the Mediterranean, he was soon working as an ambassador on missions to Fatimid Egypt. He rose to the title of familiarize of the court and by 1123 had risen to second in command in Christodulus' navy. In the attack on Mardia that year, George captured the fortress of Adimis, but the campaign had to be abandoned. In the following five years, George overshadowed Chrysotardulus and by 1127 had replaced him in the position of Emir of Palermo. In that year, both Emirs were present at Montescalioso with Count Roger, but Christodulus seems to have died soon thereafter and George succeeded him. George was instrumental in fully subduing independent-minded Apulia and Calabria in the years following Roger's succession there. In 1129, George brought 60 ships to bear on besieged Bari, then rebellious under Prince Grimwald Ulfranites. Surrender was forced, but Roger pardoned the prince. In 1131, Roger demanded that the citizens of Amalfi turn over the keys to the castle as well as full control over their city's defences. The Amalfitans refused and George blockaded the city and captured all Amalfitan ships, forcing the city to surrender. In 1132, George was given the title Amiratus Amiratorum, which translates as Admiral of Admirals in modern English, but was understood as Emir of Emirs to his contemporaries. He was also given the Greek title Archon of Archons. In 1143, George founded the Greek Orthodox Church of S. Maria de la Moralio, also known as the Martirana, in Palermo. In the church there is a contemporary mosaic depicting George, as well as a famous mosaic representing Roger II being crowned by Christ. Height of career, conquests in Greece and Africa. In 1146, George captured Tripoli and established Sicilian authority in North Africa on a permanent basis. He had already captured several minor coastal cities in the 15 years prior, but Mardia, which had been in the hands of Abul Hassan al-Hassan ibn Ali since the failed attack of 1123, did not capitulate yet. In 1147, Roger attacked the Byzantine Empire, which continued to contest his gains in southern Italy. George he sent from Otranto with 70 galleys to assault Corfu. According to Nicetas Choniates, the island capitulated due to the imperial tax burden and George's promises. Leaving a garrison, George sailed on to the Peloponnesus. He sacked Athens and quickly moved on to the Ionian Islands. He ravaged the coast all along Euboea and the Gulf of Corinth and penetrated as far as Thebes where he pillaged the silk factories and carried off the Jewish silk weavers. George capped the expedition with the sack of Corinth, in which the relics of St. Theodore were stolen, and then returned to Sicily. In 1148, George finally conquered Mardia. Antecedently, the governor of Gabes had revolted against his overlord, Al-Hassan, and promised to deliver his city to Roger II if he was confirmed as governor. War inevitably broke out in the summer of 1148. George led a fleet against Mardia. The Sultan voluntarily went into exile, taking with him very little treasure, and Mardia capitulated. The cities of Sfax and Sorsa surrendered soon after. Tunisia was incorporated into the Kingdom of Sicily, which reached its apogee through George's conquests. 
containing not only Sicily and the Mezzogiorno, but also Corfu and Tunisia. In 1149, Corfu was retaken and George took a fleet of 40 ships up the Bosphorus to the walls of Constantinople, where he tried to land. Failing this, he ravaged a few villa on the Asian coast and fired arrows at the imperial palace. He died soon after, in year 546 R. According to Ibn al Atiyah, corresponding to 1151 or 1152, he was succeeded in his offices by Philip of Mardia. George was a polyglot and very cultured man. He founded the Church of San Michele in Mazara del Valle. Besides that and his eponymous church, George of Antioch left as an architectural monument the Seven Arched Admirals Bridge over the River Oreto by Palermo where, on May 27, 1860, Giuseppe Garibaldi's red shirts first fought the troops of Francis II of the two Sicilies in the Risorgimento.